Welcome to the Joey Wells Show, delivered to you by Dorsa Automotive. I'm Luke Martin, alongside the head coach of Indiana State Women's Basketball, Coach Joey Wells. Coach Wells, I know it's been a interesting season at this point for your crew. You've had a lot of things thrown at you, knowing you've had so many different situations to deal with, from players on and off the floor, uh, dealing with different different lineups, going up against tough competition. What, to this point, have you learned about your club? Well, I think to this point we've learned that um, – you have to uh, you have to bring it every night, you know, and uh, we're not to that point yet. Uh, there's a there's a process that we're having to go through with our team that every team has to go through. Uh, some get to the point a little quicker than others, and I think with all the um, incidences that we've been having, um, we're not quite where we would have liked to have been, uh, you know. But I, I still believe it's possible to reach where we need to be. Uh, you know, when conference comes around and everybody will tell you, I mean, it's all about timing. You need to be playing your basketball at the right time. Um, we still have the opportunity to do that. Looking at this past weekend against Central Michigan before you went on the finals break, you knew that was going to be an extremely tall task because, one, Central Michigan is a really darn good club. And you really, your crew hung in there really outside of a 15-0 run in that first half that Central went on to kind of give them some cushion to hold on late. What was that – now you've kind of gone back and revisit that game. You've been in practice this week. What was maybe one of the takeaways you noticed more when you were able to kind of go back and, and look at the film and, and really rethink about what your team did against the Chippewa? Well, yeah, we did. We played well. Uh, the two things we had that stretch well, we actually missed three shots that, in our opinion, even the players going up, that's, that's 75% to 80% percent you should be making those things and we missed three in a row on three straight possessions which led to three straight good possessions for the other team you know and so that sparks half of it uh, and then it's it's hard to keep the intensity needed when you're playing a really good team when you're missing you know easy bumps and or making mistakes on the off offensive end you know and so uh, that stretch really hurt us uh, and then the other thing that we saw uh, in that game that we went back to and saw some other things that we have to clean up is we're giving up a lot of um, team offensive rebounds. What I mean by team offensive rebounds is I'm on defense for us and you're on the other team. I'm boxing you, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to, and then when the ball hits my hands, I'm not catching it and it's going out of bounds. I believe we gave up six of those. Well, that's six possessions, you know, and it's one of those things where it's not a technique thing. You're not going, dang, how come they're getting all these offensive rebounds? They're just boards that we are not grabbing and being tough enough with. Uh, and that was one of the things that we challenged them, you know, at, at halftime of the Central Michigan game. Uh, and they went out, and I thought they answered the bell, you know, that second half. We just uh, gave them too much of a lead there in that second quarter. Uh, and so now uh, I learned that they're tough enough. They can handle it, you know. And so now I just got to make sure that they bring it every single night, whether it's practice and or games. So. We look ahead with Coach Wells to Miami next week inside the Holman Center right after this short break. Check out all the options you have at Dorsa Nissan during our summer sales event on all of the Nissans. So come on in and see all of our trucks, SUVs, and cars, and see how we're building loyalty through excellence at Dorsa Nissan, US 41 South, Terre Haute, or DorsaNissan.com. Welcome back to the Joey Wells Show, delivered to you by Dorsa Automotive. Looking at Miami, Coach, last year it was uh, really a heck of an afternoon in Oxford, Ohio. Your team trailed by as many as 18, came back to win that game. It is a much different Miami Red Hawk team from the standpoint of first-year head coach and Coach Duffy. They've had some impressive rent wins on their schedule. They're riding a four-game winning streak. When you go back and you revisit that game from a year ago, where have you seen this Red Hawk team improve? You know, they're playing with a lot more confidence. You know, uh, when we played them, they played with confidence in the first half and then second half, somewhere they kind of lost their confidence and energy uh, and we were able to come back and pull one out. But um, right now they're just playing really high. They're playing really good, you know, making shots. I think as a team they're shooting like 42% from the field. Um, you know, they have multiple players that can, can, you know, hurt you from different positions inside or out. Uh, and they're just playing with a, a new, fresh, you know, feeling, I guess, of energy. Uh, with this new coach, and so we have to make sure that we go out to unmatch that, you know, and, and take care of all part of uh, our own energy and bring our own enthusiasm and, with the things that we're doing. You mentioned in our first segment, Coach, that it is finals week and getting through exam period. So how have you handled this week and and having it quote unquote off with not having a game, but also balancing with getting ready for Miami? Yeah, you know, I think the approach we took um, was beneficial for everybody. You know, um, as coaches, you get through this time too, and you're like, okay. 
we need to have an opportunity to reevaluate some things, watch some more video, talk amongst ourselves, and prepare for you know upcoming games, but also conference when it comes around. Uh, and so we were able to do that as a staff, and so we practiced. We played on Saturday, took Sunday off, practiced Monday for about an hour, just got up shots and conditioning, took Tuesday off. Um, uh, everybody was out recruiting on Tuesday. Wednesday we practiced for about an hour and a half, got up shots, uh, and again, some conditioning. And then uh, Thursday today off, and then Friday we will uh, jump at it again and then start off prep for the next two games. So I think it was good for our players too because again, finals are stressful uh, and they had an opportunity to uh, you know get plenty of study time in and preparation. Um, so we're looking forward to having some good grades. Well, you have Miami Tuesday and then you have Butler on Thursday before you get the conference stretch going, which that first weekend you're going to be at home. Yes, every stretch is important, but knowing you're going to be at home through basically January 10th, what that means for your team. It's big, you know. Um, it's a great opportunity for us, and we saw this at the beginning of the year going, okay, we need to be doing certain things so when we hit this point, you know, we can really make a push, you know, in the right direction. You know, you don't have to worry about the travel. You get good practice times in your own gym. Uh, and, and so it's going to be an important week for us, you know. Uh, we still don't know, you know, who's going to be playing, <laughs> you know. Uh, we're still kind of up in the air with some of our – uh, injuries and other things that have happened with our team, but we're just going to keep moving forward with the players that we know are here, you know, and ready to play. And then as we get those other pieces back, it's just going to help us that much more, uh, you know, with the confidence uh, of the team and individuals that who have gained playing experience because of what we've been going through. Coach Wells, appreciate the time as always, and we look forward to next week. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Once again, I was head coach Joey Wells for Coach Wells and everybody with Indiana State Women's Basketball. You've been watching the Joey Wells Show delivered to you by Dorsa Automotive. Thank <laughs> you.